How to exercise safely after angioplasty. When plaque begins to block blood flow to your heart, you have an increased risk for chest pain, heart attacks and other cardiac events. An angioplasty can help improve the blood flow to the heart. After this procedure, it's essential to begin a heart-healthy lifestyle. Exercising after this procedure is generally an important part of your long-term recovery. 1. Be safe and smart when it comes to the type, amount, and intensity of the exercise you choose. That way, you can allow your body to heal and work to prevent further cardiac issues. Exercising immediately after an angioplasty. Get a medical clearance from your doctor. The time immediately following your angioplasty will require you to follow specific exercise guidelines. Always follow exactly what your physician has recommended. When you leave the hospital from your angioplasty your physician will talk with you and give you discharge papers that will explain exactly what type of physical activity you can and cannot do. Be sure you understand the physician's explanation and read over these instructions thoroughly. Make sure to discuss any questions or concerns with your doctor. Also ask when your physician will give you a written or verbal clearance for activity. Get a general idea in your head of when that will be. Once a clearance is given, you're generally allowed to proceed with most types of aerobic and resistance training. Rest for a minimum of 1 to 2 days after your procedure. Although an angioplasty is not a major cardiac procedure, it still often requires an overnight stay in the hospital and a period of rest afterwards. Although every physician is slightly different in their recommendations, most ask that you remain inactive for 1 to 2 days after your angioplasty. This means no heavy lifting, no aerobic activity, or any activity that would require you to raise your heart rate significantly. Normal, day-to-day -day activities are appropriate for the most part. Be careful with activities like carrying in heavy groceries, cleaning, gardening, etc. that would be of a higher intensity. Discuss the benefits of starting with a cardiac rehab program. After your few days of low activity, consider joining or starting with a cardiac rehab program. This should be something you discuss with your physician or cardiologist. A cardiac rehab program is designed specifically for those patients that currently have or have had a history of cardiac events like an angioplasty or heart attack. 3. Cardiac rehab programs are best for patients that have had significant blockage, have had previous cardiac events like a heart attack or angina or are not currently in shape. The purpose of these rehab programs is to educate you on how to exercise safely and work with you to build up your aerobic endurance over time. There is a fitness professional and cardiologist that will supervise you and your heart as you exercise. In addition, most cardiac rehab programs are covered by your health insurance plan. Start with lifestyle activity first. If you're not going to choose to do a cardiac rehab program, you will be able to start activity by yourself. A great place to start is bumping up your lifestyle activity. Lifestyle activities or baseline activities are those exercises that are a part of your normal daily routine. These are the activities that get you up and moving for for example, taking the stairs, parking farther away, grocery shopping, gardening, etc. are all activities that will get you up, moving and increase your heart rate. When you first get home from your angioplasty, you'll probably be limited on your overall activity. Instead of starting with more structured exercise, slowly build endurance with these types of lifestyle activities. Make it a point to take more steps, stand up more often or just move more in general. This will help build a baseline endurance and fitness level you can build off of in the future. Bring a friend or family member with you. A smart and safe option is to have a friend, coworker, or family member with you when you initially begin exercising. In general, most patients are fine to exercise and will be fine while exercising after their angioplasty. However, it might be smart to take someone with you. In case you feel lightheaded, dizzy or do have chest pains, they can assist you if needed. 5. Also, don't go too far from your home or office. Stick around close if you need to get help, get to a phone or just need to get inside. 